Hi, my name is Mark Williams. I own a farmer's insurance agency here in Michigan. And this is a video blog of my journey uh, to get back to a, a point where I'm physically happy with myself. Um, I, I still haven't come up with a name for this journey. Uh, I'm just calling it video blog, but I'm trying to keep up on a daily video blog where I talk about or discuss um, things on a daily basis that I'm noticing about my journey uh, to reclaim um, my, my physical appearance. Uh, just kind of give you an idea. I'm about 6'4", um, probably 295. I haven't weighed myself in a while because I didn't want to get in the habit of noticing myself go up one pound, down two pounds. Um, I'm just taking it in 30 day chunks, weighing myself and measuring myself. So I'm getting close to another 30 days gone by on this journey where I, I need to update my, my files on what my measurements are. Um, I just gave you kind of a, a glimpse of um, what, I, what I look like with clothes on. Um, you know, to be honest with you, I, I, I feel like um, a pretty muscular person underneath. Um, a lot of like a, a jacket of a jacket of body fat. Um, my body fat accumulates on my upper body, and um, which is you know a, a kind of a strange phenomenon in itself when you look at um, body types as archetyped by mesomorph, uh, endomorph ectomorph, right? Like it, I'm, if, you've, if you read anything about bodybuilding in the past 20 years, you've, you've seen those terms before and what they're describing people that um, burn body fat um, rather naturally, their, their lean structures are hard muscle gainers. And then there's people that gain muscle easily, um, gain body fat easily one of the two, if they work out, they gain muscle mass. If they, if they don't work out, they gain body fat. And I, I, I think of myself as a uh, kind of a classic mesomorph, except for I don't gain any body fat really below the waist, which um, might be a signal of um, like, you know, an endocrine system, um, an endocrine system and, and physiological issues as opposed to um, you know how, how I uh, just how I naturally uh, am uh, and what I mean by that is is that um, I, I think that um, there's natural stress hormones that your body creates cortisol is one of them um, I think that hormonally uh, and physiologically, you can become very used to um, um, the, the production or non-production of um, insulin. Insulin sensitivity can change, but you know, I think that if you live a psychologically stress stressful life, um, your job is all above the neck that I, I think that you um, take on a, physio a physiology where your body fat kind of is all encapsulated in, in your upper body. You have a lot of abdominal body fat. And I think that it's like, uh, like a lot of people. Uh, I saw this great meme the other day where it's uh, the evolution of a salesperson. I've been a salesperson for almost 20 years. Um, you know, it starts off as a lean person and then gradually, you know, gets a little fatter, gets a little fatter, gets a little fatter. It's the guy at the end of the meme kind of resembles me. Um, so I'm on this journey. Uh, I'm committed to it for 365 days. And I think that my time um, will be best spent doing uh, a hypertrophic workout. And I'm basing my hypertrophic workout on uh, the Encyclopedia of Bodybuilding by Arnold Schwarzenegger. 
and uh, I've had great results in it in the past. But in the but in the past, uh, a couple of caveats. In the past, I have to um, acknowledge and make uh, adjustments to. In in the past, uh, when I did the programming, I was capable of sleeping as much as ten hours a day. I I, I had that kind of a schedule, and I, I can't do that anymore. Um, so when you sleep for eight plus hours you're fasting for eight plus hours and that uh, makes a difference and then the other thing that was different about the last time I was successful with this programming was um, was I uh, walked on my job a lot I walked quite a bit um, it was not a standstill job I was I was um, I was working in the food service industry and um, I was required to be on my feet the whole entire shift. So um, for the past 15 years, I've, I've sat, I've been sedentary and I've sat more and more as you become more and more successful in sales and, and you take on uh, more, uh, more and more responsibilities and leadership and um, you, you just, you sit more. It's just, uh, you, you're required to answer emails, answer phone calls, um, um, you, you're, you're, you're doing written work. I, I got, you know, all this written work right in front of me. I've been writing things down, writing, writing knowledge down. And then I'm going to take this knowledge. And I'm going to type it. You know, it, it's, um, the days in the day in and day out becomes more and more sedentary. So that, that's, a, that's something I have to adjust in my programming where when I was really successful with this programming, uh, in the past, I could go in and I could I could just run through 90 minutes of weightlifting, 60 minutes of weightlifting, and um, you know I was already like at 225 when I started the programming. Well, I started this programming at 289, looking to get down to 245, and I think it's it's possible. Um, by um, taking the programming to a level where instead of doing it for 8 to 12 reps, um, you're doing it as many as 15 to 20 reps. Um, and, you're, and you're taking uh, shorter breaks and you're doing more in intensity, um, you're doing more intense um, work through Supersetting, drop setting, uh, principles, principles like that, uh, tri setting, um, complexing. Those principles can alter the uh, a barbell and dumbbell driven hypertrophic workout into um, quite a bit of cardio work. So that that's what I'm that's what I'm looking to do. That's what I'm striving for. And then the other thing is I have to I have to have to do cardio. I have to do cardio. I didn't do that the last time I did this training. I just let the, the hypertrophic workout be the cardio and I was running through it so fast and I was taking pre-workout and I was relying on the pre-workout to be um, a diet modulator and curb my appetite and I got away with um, eating very little so I'm I'm not looking to take as much pre-workout as I did when I was 28 years old. It seems insane to me now at 41. But I definitely want to look like I did then. So um, priority principle, I, I train the the workout or the, the cardio first and then I do the workout second. So sometimes that requires instead of doing four by 10, I do three by 12 or you know something like that. Um, but I, I'm, I'm constantly, constantly making adjust, adjustments on a day-to-day, day-to-day uh, -day basis. Um, you know, predicated on um, how much time I, I have in the morning, what time I arrive. It's it's hard. It's hard to stay consistent. Um, last week I took two days off, and um, and I didn't make it uh, Monday either. And that's that's. Um, to me was uh, about training, 
the intensity that, that I've been going at and the, the lack of rest that I've allowed myself mentally and physically from work and um, the, the training itself. So, you know, I think uh, if you push yourself hard, sooner or later your body will push back and, and demand some more rest. And I think that's what happened to me last week. I took two days off and uh, I just, the, the, the bell rang and I couldn't answer the bell, could not answer at all. And um, Monday was kind of a strange thing. Maybe you've had this before, but I, I think it's kind of an interesting thing. Um, your body n requires at least four 90 minute periods where you're going through REM, right? You're, you're dreaming, it, it's deep uh, sleep, your brain waves, you know, look, look very deep and there's hills and valleys that are very deep, right? At 7.45, I was dreaming in, um, you know, which means like I didn't have enough dreaming earlier in my sleep and I went to bed at 10 o'clock. So nine hours later, my body's still fighting to get another dream in. It's, it's my body, my mind is looking to be in a, in a deep sleep physiologically, physiologically my clock is, is, is off because I'm usually up by, by uh, 7.45, I'm usually up at, at seven o'clock. So um, to me, I, my read on that is uh, my body was pushing back um, from all the training that I've done. So that's um, just some, some me top of the head uh, annotating and putting down into the record uh, what I've been going through, missed a couple of days last week, and I and I took Monday off as well, and um, it it felt like a well deserved rest. And when I went back to the gym today, I felt pretty good. Um, last night I was even able to get a like a thirty minute walk in, and um, this morning I got some uh, light jogging and a and a twenty minute walk. Um, before the jogging, I walked for twenty minutes and then I did some light jogging, and and uh, I felt pretty good. I feel pretty good right now. So hopefully we're back on track, and uh, I think the the key to to this is consistency. Um, you're working out six days a week, uh, keeping the cardio as a priority um, when I when I first walk in the gym. So we'll see. Uh, pretty soon we'll get some measurements, and you know we'll hit the 60th day here, like around uh, a week from now. It will probably be uh, will be the 60th day. So we'll get some measurements and see where we're at. So what kind of progress they made. Uh, I've noticed some things fit a little bit better than, than they used to. Um, so it's a, it's, a, it's a long way to go. It's a long journey to get where I need to be. So I'm gonna jump off. You guys have a good day. Today is uh, October the 25th. And if you wanted to message me and be a virtual workout buddy, uh, I welcome that, that'd be great. Uh, you can reach me on Twitter at uh, MW uh, Insurance Agent. You can reach me on Facebook. It's Mark Williams Insurance Agent. At Mark Williams Insurance Agent. That's my Facebook page. Uh, Instagram, you can reach me at Rockstar underscore insurance. And on um, bodybuilding.com's app, Body Space, you can find me. My handle is uh, Mark is a Rockstar. So look for me there. Um, you can message me, follow me, love to hear back from, from the rest of the world and um, you know all you dads with dad bods trying to reclaim, reclaim what you used to have. You know, I'd, love to, I'd love to hear back from you. The inspiration would be great and uh, you know, even from a, a virtual standpoint, from a social media standpoint, the, the, the back and forth would be awesome. Love to hear from you. You have a great day.